Hello gorgeous, what's your name? K K K K K O O O O O O O I hop 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 K K K K K K Crikey. I beg your pardon. I am Mrs. Thatcher to you, young man. Not the up and coming conservative politician. That's right, and as soon as I have seized enough power, things will be getting pretty sticky around here for foreign scum such as yourself, as well as many other groups I disguise, such as the working classes and specky TV personalities. That doesn't sound very friendly, Sheila. Not Sheila, Margaret. Don't you speak English, you despicable little Aussie pinkest word. Aren't you a bit rough around the edges for a politician, Margaret? I can't see you going far with that attitude. Don't worry your empty little nonce about that, Johnny Foreigner. I have decided to buy myself a new image. Nothing matters except money, you execrable little four-eyed long-haired poet who ought to get on his bike and get himself a proper job instead of sponging off the state. You don't have a job, do you? You doubtless came to our country to sponge off our naively generous nanny state with all the other freeloading foreign riffraff. I do have a job. I'm Rolf Harris. I'm an artist and general all-round entertainer and sort of very blah TV personality that kind everyone hates except TV executives. I mean a proper job, you preposterous little pipsqueak, you parasitic, preening little pop and jay. You come to our country. You expect a free lunch. You don't adapt to our way of life, that is, watching endless anodyne, inoffensive telly, driving a Ford Quartin into the miserable slot machine seaside, eating stomach churning fried anything and overcooked vegetables, doing those endless renovations and DIY, and more telly, and then trips in your Ford Quartin into home hardware, to plan more renovations and more DIY, and then home to the crappy little box you live in. But aren't you proud, cause you own it, not the council, and then some more tellian. No I love all that. That's why I came to your beautiful country. I love your country. I love you. Do you want to come back to my place, Margaret? I have a cuddly cow bear that's anatomically correct and some appalling paintings of the outback I knocked off in about five minutes. If I come home with you, will you swear to vote conservative until your head explodes, and offer up your mortal soul to the Prince of Darkness, also known as Norman Tebbit, for all eternity? I will do better than that, Margaret. I'll go on your British telly, every goddamn night, if I have to, until the UK population collectively lose the will to live. There's a good boy. They make